All right, in topic three, we are going to factor trinomials. Now, you're supposed to do this before you watch the video. So, doing this out quickly, we have x squared plus 4x plus 3x plus 12. Combine your middle terms, you have x squared plus 7x plus 12. Okay, with this one, if you, I know a lot of you do the box, x minus 7, x plus 1, that's x squared minus 7x plus 1x and minus 7 so x squared negative 7x plus 1x is negative 6x minus 7 so now what when you factor trinomials we're working backwards okay we are going to be given so this one x squared plus 7x plus 12 if you look back here that 12 came from multiplying 3 and 4 a positive 3 and a positive 4 and the 7 came from adding 3 and 4. Okay, so when you look at this, when you start with a trinomial, okay, you look, what can I add, multiply that gives me 12, that adds to give me 7. Okay, so you look at all the multiples of 12. Well, to multiply to get 12, I can do 1 times 12, 2 times 6, 3 times 4. Which one adds to give you 7? 3 and 4. So it'll be x plus 3 and x plus 4. All right, now, it says if it, um, oh, if you found the numbers that multiply to give you 12 and add to give you 7, then now you can watch the video. So, backed up, I went over this with you. But, so let's start here. When we have x squared plus 9x plus 20, we need to multiply to give us a positive 20. So the multiples, you can have 1 times 20. Now realize, sometimes there's going to be negatives in there. So realize you could also have negative 1 times negative 20. Okay, you could have 2 times 10, or negative 2 times negative 10, 3 times 4, or negative, no, not 3 times 4, 4 times 5. 4 times 5, or negative 5 times negative 4. What adds to give us 9? Yeah. 5 and 4, and that'd be a plus 5 and a plus 4. So plus 5, plus 4, and guess what? You can always figure out if you're right just by multiplying it back out, okay? x times x is x squared. x times 4 is 4x. 5 times x is 5x. 5 times 4 is 20. 4x plus 5x is 9x, and that is match what I started with, so that checks. Okay, so you can always, always check these. All right, here's another one. Factors of negative 20. Now here's one with negative. So to get negative 20, you can have 1 times negative 20 or negative 1 times 20. <clears throat> you could have 2 times negative 10 or negative 2 times 10. 4 times negative 5 or negative 4 times positive 5. Those are all the factors to get negative 20. And now you figure out what adds to give us negative 8? Well, 1 plus negative 20 is negative 19. Negative 1 plus 20 is 19. 2 plus negative 10. Oh, right there. 2 plus negative 10 is negative 8. So I have x plus 2, x minus 10. Okay, so multiply it back out. Make sure you get it. That's x squared minus 10x plus 2x minus 20. Negative 10x plus 2x is negative 8x, and that is what I started with, so there's my check. All right, that is it for factoring trinomials. All right, you take the last term, you find the factors, and then you decide which of those factors adds up to the middle term. Okay, there are your two u tries. Go ahead and try them. We will go over them in the next class.